Hey, how's it going? Everyone, go motion here, and here's my speculation of the first Five Nights Freddy's sister location trailer. First things first, at the beginning of the trailer, it seems like there's some word association going on here. The first game flashes for a second, then it reads fear. The second one pops up, and we get panic. And associated with their respective games, we get dread for the third game and terror for the fourth. I'm nearly certain that this is Scott's way of telling us what kind of horror he was trying to portray in each game, and it makes sense. In the first game, you feel generic fear when the animatronics get close. In the second, you have to panic as you wind the music box, check the vents, flip down the mask, and check the hall, all while worrying about the animatronics coming to get you at all different directions. The third game is all about dread. You dread the fact that you're stuck rebooting systems, while you dread where or what Springtrap is doing behind your back. The fourth game is where Scott attempted to portray what he thought was the scariest thing to make his characters look and feel, and boy did he do a good job at creating a terror-inducing atmosphere. We're then greeted with a shot of what seems to be some sort of elevator, with the words don't hold it against us being repeated over and over. Already we can notice that this premise is very different to anything we've ever seen before in a Five Nights at Freddy's game. It looks too industrial to be a piece rear, and it's definitely not Fazbear's Fright, in fact it looks closer to being set in some sort of warehouse rather than anywhere else. From what we can tell, it's complete with a speaker system, a tempting red button, a ventilation system, a poster of an unseen animatronic and a numpad, just to point out the obvious details. Starting off with the speaker, there's a good chance it will be used as a way for the animatronic characters to communicate with the player via voice acting, as Scott has confirmed in this Steam post claiming that there would in fact be voice acting in the game. Supporting my evidence further is the fact that later in the trailer it's revealed that Funtime Freddy and Funtime Foxy both have speakers on their chests, so somehow it must be related to the speaker in the elevator. Of course, there's no solid proof that this is an elevator, but by the way it's chittering, it could prove that the room is moving, hence my accusation of it being some sort of elevator being true. While it seems like there isn't much to talk about the vent at first, as it's been present in many previous Five Nights at Freddy's games, and could likely hold a similar role to the vents in those games, it's revealed later in the trailer that the player has the ability to crawl through the vents, which is a great setup for something or someone to suddenly start chasing you through the systems, making a really terrifying atmosphere complete with a feeling of being trapped. Perhaps you'll make your way through the system and memorise where the dead ends are to map your way out of your attacker's grasp? Either way, it's a very cool concept. There's also the buttons and the numpad, which could require some sort of password to unlock, but other than that there's not much to say about it, although if we look just below it we can see some sort of reflection or drawing on the wall, maybe it's one of the new animatronics. Another thing that's cool about this though is the ability to move around, not just left and right but up and down too. We're then greeted by another shot of a different location, this time it's complete with some canisters, two sinister looking dolls, one of which looks strikingly similar to JJ, a complete mess of control panel in the middle of it all. It features various buttons and dials, hopefully none that we'll have to worry about too much in the final game, along with what seems to be like some sort of green clock thing and another speaker. I'm almost certain that the speaker systems are going to play a large role in the game, becoming one of the main mechanics that the player needs to deal with to survive. Again, there's some flashing lights here, possibly an alarm to alert the player of something. Another thing I wanted to mention were the multicolored show lights that are above the player. This could possibly mean that we could be controlling the show stage lights or maybe even the animatronics. The next shot is of the player running through the vents which I've partly already covered, but it's still a pretty cool mechanic for the game. We're then shown the first shot of Funtime Foxy. Her suit seems to be composed of an incredibly shiny material, as if it had never been used or is brand new. We're then shown her face begin to move in all different directions, in an almost unsettling way, like, like she's twitching. After Funtime Foxy, the words Deep Below Ground appear, marking the first line of a rhyme. The location being Deep Below Ground explains what we've seen in the trailer so far, with the whole elevator vibe going on. Maybe the animatronics we see are still in some sort of warehouse, ready to be shipped out to their respective locations. Now we're shown a shot of the character we saw on the poster in the elevator, complete with the same shiny material that Funtime Foxy was sporting. While this character hasn't directly been associated with the name yet, it's very possible that with the pose she's in, out of the rest of the character name links that we have left, she's named either Ballora or Minirina, both names with parts taken from Ballerina. I might be grasping a few straws here, but maybe the two characters, Ballora and Minirina, can combine themselves to create Ballerina, but that's just a theory. 
where memory sleep is the next line of text to appear. Maybe this is trying to tell us that the memories of the previous locations are quote unquote sleeping there, therefore proving that this game takes place after all the events of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. The next animatronic we're shown is Funtime Freddy, who takes on a similar colour scheme to Funtime Foxy and has a striking resemblance to Withered Freddy, or what would have been Withered Freddy before he was um, withered. Another minor detail is that, unlike the previous version of Freddy, he has a top set of teeth, which is something we don't see in Withered or Classic Freddy. Anger is Restless is the third line of text, possibly telling us that these SL animatronics are angry about something, and if we take a listen at the last spoken line of the trailer, we have, you don't know what we've been through. This could be the animatronics way of telling us that something, somehow, has made them very angry, and that they've been through a lot to make them feel that way. The next shot is presumably Baby's arm holding a microphone. There's some weird fan thing going on in her chest too. The words don't hold it against us are repeated again, pretty much telling us that this is Baby speaking. The final line of the rhyme appears on screen reading, and secrets don't keep. Maybe this line is proving that, while the memories of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza are hidden below ground, the secrets that the company kept are still roaming around. The final shot of the trailer shows the entire crew, composed of Funtime Freddy, Funtime Foxy, The Dancing Thing, and Baby. There isn't really much to say about the gang as a whole, but something I did point out was that, before Freddy's spotlight turns on, we can see in the darkness that he's holding a blue Bonnie puppet. This could possibly be the origin of Bonnie, or maybe the puppet is inspired by the Bonnie character from Fred Bear and Friends, but somehow I doubt it. So that's my take on pulling apart the first trailer for Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. I hope you all enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed it please leave a like below, it really helps me out. I'll see you all in the next one, goodbye.